Howdy, 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 let's get rowdy! Super stoked about this friend! gear run at trail hero and we've got some rigs that have already showed up and this looks like it is going to be a blast all right we're off on the trail super stoked about this run Super stoked to get out with some rowdies. Yes, these are our people. I knew we had rad subscribers, but look at these rigs. Are you kidding me? I couldn't have asked for a better first sub run. I just wanted to remind you guys, if you enjoy our channel, think about subscribing. If you dig a video, don't forget to give it a like and leave us a comment. Just like all these other drivers with us today do. It really helps the channel and keeps us motivated to keep pushing for better off-road content for you guys. All right, you guys, we're gonna do team reaction. And I uh, haven't been on this trail since it rained a lot, so we're gonna see how it goes. Just wasn't kidding, there was a monsoon storm that came through and wiped out San Hollow a few weeks before the Trail Hero event making all the trails and obstacles much harder and more fun than the years before. This line here is easily a foot deeper, if not more than last year. That doesn't sound like much, but when their left side rock face has a bit of an undercut, you add another foot to that and it wants to trap your driver's side tires as you go through it. Over here, don't make us look bad. <laughs> The proper line is to straddle the crack until you get your fronts high enough for your rears to grab the driver's side wall. With that being almost a foot deeper, it causes us to snag more in our skid plate. Once you work the line enough for your rear driver's side tire to grab the wall, your passenger now falls in, causing it to get a bit tippy. Feel it out and put it in crawl mode, drive through it and it should settle down. We did it! That's how it's supposed to be done right now. Yeah. So this works cool, they're an Arizona local too. This rig is absolutely insane. We've followed this Fiat rear steer portal car for a long time and cannot believe how much better it was in person. Let me know if you guys want to see a Wreck Rides rig feature on this build in the comments below. That was a good warm up and really showed that we had some good capable rigs and drivers with us. This next obstacle is pretty iconic and known for being tough. 
This is a super elevated Z-turn. A Z-turn is just like on a really steep mountain, they've got switchbacks, so it makes it less steep. Same idea, but super compact. My first attempt here, I kind of took it more like a question mark. I usually hit it that way and it works out all right. But the monsoon rains struck again, changing the trail just enough to make it interesting. Now that we know that isn't gonna work, I line myself back up and keep my rear axle way more driver. Then I'm gonna turn my front to climb up the wall on the upper half of this obstacle, then turn passenger and ride that driver's front tire on the top edge with my passenger on the other side of the crack. What knocked me off before is the right side was so steep that when my passenger rear tire tried to climb it, it would kick my rear axle off and slide me passenger. Having that rear way higher to the left made it to where that passenger rear had less of a wall to climb, therefore keeping me on the right line. Quick disclaimer, this guy in the red TJ buggy has a wild wheeling style. He's rowdy and just ain't care. He absolutely made this obstacle look easy. So don't be surprised if you come to this trail and you don't make it as easy as he did. I said it before and I'll say it again, these guys are freaking rowdy. I have a feeling it's only gonna get rowdier from here. That's right, we're on chain reaction, which is rated a nine. And then the middle of chain reaction, you can break off and do broken chain, which is rated a 13. As much as I love that trail, and it's one of my favorites, we better turn around and stick to the plan. That was nice. That was well, brother. This is Mike Winland. He is no stranger to the channel and we wheel with him a lot. He came out to help with the subscriber run, and boy am I glad he did, or we would've been halfway up Broken Chain before I figured it out. That's it, that's it, that's it. On the way back into Broken Chain, this rig from the Pacific Northwest decided it was gonna have some fuel related issues. We used one of the oldest tricks in the book. We pulled out the worn winch and reminded it that we go prepared. If she wasn't gonna knock it off, we were gonna drag her out. I guess that trick worked, it fired right back up and ripped through that section like it was pure business.
As we watch these guys work these steps in this tight canyon, I can't help but think about what's after this. A massive, extremely technical crack called Cluster Fudge. Well, that's the rated PG name. I'll let you figure out the real name. Ashback. Our last trip to San Hollow, I didn't figure out the line on this crack and ended up falling right in it. Not only is the recovery in a crack like this super brutal, but with a crowd, it's gonna be super nerving to try it again. End of flashback. The rest of the week will be easy. It only hurts the first time. <laughs> Babe, just don't go. <laughs> Man, I'm glad that I made it through there. That would have been super embarrassing, falling in that crack with all those subscribers there. I also somehow dirtbagged Mike into going up it as well. He's tried a few times and has also fallen in, but he made it clear he was going for broke and gave it a shot. few moments later. I told you this guy was rowdy, and this time there was no tricking it with the old Warren winch trick. This time, we were for sure getting some winch action to get out of this spot. I keep telling Brian from like the last toy. Not only did we need one, but we had to use two, and it got a little wild. Leave it to Kelsey Heck to be fashionably late to our rec gear party and then totally making up for it by getting extra rowdy. These PW wheelers are first in line to have a good time.
guys, we're pretty much at the end of the little sub run that we did, but we gotta shoot the wall because there's a wall to shoot, I guess. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. And drink more water. Lee is all right and takes the Rowdy Award hands down. What an awesome showmanship of so many different wheelers, most of us meeting for the first time, jumping into action to make sure that Lee was all right and to get the winch lines hooked up and getting his rig back on all fours. After this trail, we all need to go back to camp and give our worn winches a raise because they were working some serious overtime. It wouldn't be an epic wreck gear run if we weren't pulling plugs and working on getting a rig out into the dark. Sponsored in part by BF Goodrich Tires, Warren Industry Winches, KC Highlights, and Axle Off-Road Helmets. Best way to support this channel is give that subscribe button a little skittily do, diddle that notification bell, give this video the fat finger, and leave a dirty little comment below.